guys, welcome back to my channel and happy new year. Thank you so much for watching. Today's tutorial is gonna be on this glitter cut crease with a bold lip. I'm excited to show it to you guys, so let's get into it. I already did my eyebrows off camera, so I'm gonna start with this eyeshadow base. I actually got this in my December Ipsy Glam bag. This is my first time using this, so we'll see how it goes. I'm just gonna do a little bit right here in the crease because that's kind of where I'm starting my eyeshadow. I'm just gonna rub that in and work it towards the outside of the eye. I'm gonna take the setting powder from Tarte. I'm gonna use this brush that I got from Sephora. It doesn't have a name. I'm just gonna take a little bit of that and I'm just gonna set the eyeshadow base that I just used. Kinda of work it in with my fingers. And even bring it up to the brow bone. First color that I'm gonna start with is my transition shade and it's from Tarte. It was our holiday collection. So it has all these different shades of colors in here and they all have names that resemble Christmas time. So the first color that I'm doing the transition with is called Rum Pum Plum and I'm going to work that right above the crease. And this is going to serve as my transition color. I'm doing windshield wiper motions on the eye with a light pressure because sometimes if you add too much pressure with the brush, you can create a skid line. Now I'm gonna go in with a darker plum color. It's called Cocoa Wet Fun. And I'm going to uh, throw that shade right into the crease of the eye. I actually think I want a smaller brush. Okay, I'm switching up. I'm going in with this shadow brush from Real Techniques. It has a point at the end, so I can kind of get into the crease a little bit better. So I'm gonna use that. The last color, and I'm still using this Real Techniques uh, brush. I'm going to take a little bit of Midnight Kiss, which is kind of bluish black color. And I'm going to run that over top the Cocoa What Fun color. I like it. Next, I'm going to take this eyeshadow base from MAC in the color Lang Low. Lang Low. And this is kind of the part where you're going to carve out the cut crease. So I'm just gonna take the, uh, the brush, and this is a Real Techniques concealer brush, and I'm gonna start from the inner corner of my eye and just kind of carve out the shape of the cut crease. I have a lot of skin on my eyelid, so I actually have to go slightly above the crease of my eye so that you can see the glitter when we add the glitter to the eye. And then once I have the shape, I'm just going to fill the rest of the eye in with the land low color. Next, I'm going to take this flat eyeshadow brush, and this is from Color Du Jour. She's actually an amazing makeup artist in Houston, Texas. You guys should check her out. This is a flat eyeshadow brush number five and I am taking this color from what's this color? hey can you look up something for me Vincent I'm just making sure I'm saying the right thing for the lid I'm gonna take this shimmery almost a cream color it's called nylon from Mac and I'm just going to tap that on top of the base that we've already put down. I'm gonna take a Real Techniques accent brush and I'm gonna grab a little bit more of that Midnight Kiss 
just kind of like on the, the very edge of it. And I'm going to line where the nylon meets the other eyeshadow that we first put on. So after I've done that line on there, I'm just gonna take the brush and I'm not, I didn't put any more eyeshadow on it. I'm just taking what's already left on there and I'm just kind of shading it out so that it can have like a gradient effect. Gonna take my Real Techniques eyeliner brush and I've already put some Inglot gel liner on there. And I am going to create a wing starting again on the outside of the eye with the one, two, three. The line up towards the end of the brow is the one, dragging it back is the two, and then filling it in for the three. I always ha have people say to me that wing liners are so hard to do, which they are, but a lot of times people don't know that even makeup artists we all have issues with the wing liner because sometimes your wing can start off really really small and then i don't know you just got a wing in the moon just keeps going and going all the isha's waiting on me i got all the isha's waiting all right now we're gonna go to the fun part which the last time that i did this I was sitting here and I tried to open up the glitter and this glitter went everywhere. I'm grateful to have wood floors because otherwise the boys would have been vacuuming for days. So I have these little brushes that I got from Hobby Lobby at home in Houston. So they're kind of like little small paint brushes. I used these when I was recreating Snapchat filters over the summer. So I'm using this liquid sugar sprinkle base. And I just took a little bit, dabbed it on the end of my brush. And I'm taking this purple glitter that I got from, I think it might have been Arnie's. And I'm going to line the cut of the crease. When you're working with glitter, especially if you're lining something, you want to do small strokes. I'm only using a little bit of glitter at, at a time, guys, because if you use too much, then you can have fallout. We don't want that. So we're done with the top. For the glitter line that's gonna run across the wing, I'm using the NYX Face and Body Glitter Brilliance in the color Rose. Grab a little bit more of the purple and I can just kind of have them meet at the corner of happy and healthy. <laughs> there we go. So weird! And I'm gonna put just a tiny, tiny drop of this NARS Luminous Foundation. Gonna take my Beauty Blender, it's slightly damp, and I'm just gonna work that foundation into my skin. Sometimes if you use a buffing brush, if you don't use it the right way, your makeup will sit on top of your face and it won't be really worked in. So I feel like, especially for people who are beginners in makeup, buy you a beauty blender because it does pretty much all the work for you. For concealer, I'm gonna take my True Match concealer in the color medium deep. And I'm gonna run that along. I love how this concealer blends into my skin. Highlight on the chin. I never put any concealer on my forehead. My forehead is shaped very weirdly. And that doesn't need to be highlighted. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this NARS concealer in the color Creamy Custard. This is a lot brighter than what I would usually use, so I'm just gonna 
take just a little bit and put it under the corner. I'm gonna take the tip of the beauty blender and just kinda press that in. Remember with beauty blenders, they're basically a sponge. You're not gonna wipe with it, you're just gonna press. I'm using short pushes into my skin. Okay, I'm gonna do a little baking action with this Ben Nye banana powder. Just gonna set my eyes. Now it's time to shade out the bottom lash line. So I'm taking this Urban Decay 24 seven velvet glide on pencil in the color plushy. Drag it along the bottom of the lash. Next I'm going to take my Maybelline Lasting Drama Waterproof Gel Pencil in the color Sleek Onyx and I'm gonna run that along the waterline. And it doesn't have to be perfect because again, we're gonna blend all of this together. Gonna take this Morphe E18 brush and I'm going to dip it into another color on this holiday tart palette called Muled Wine. And I'm going to take this color to blend the black and the purple eyeliner together. And then after that, I can take my e.l.f. blush brush and sweep away all of the setting powder that I used. I'm gonna spray a little Fix Plus on this. It's like a double-ended brown, double-ended eyeshadow brush and I'm gonna take some more of that nylon. So I'm gonna use that for the inner tear duct. Sweet. I'm taking my Maybelline Great Lash Mascara and I'm going to drag a couple of coats on my lashes. While that's drying, I'm gonna take my L'Oreal Infallible Press Powder with my Bare Minerals Foundation brush and I'm just gonna tap that all over set my face I love wearing this powder with um, a full coverage foundation because it's not too heavy it's like just the, the right amount that you need taking my morphe m527 brush and I'm gonna dip it into my NYX matte bronzing powder it's gonna warm up my face my ABH in light to medium palette. And I'm gonna use this Deluxe Crease Brush from Real Techniques. Contour the nose just a little. These falsies, originally these were wispies, but I went ahead and customized them. So I basically took individual lashes and put them into the wispies. So I'm gonna let those get tacky. I'm gonna take this Physician's Formula Glow Pearl. Run that along the cheek, down the nose, and the cupid's bow. Over my first highlighter, I'm gonna take the Jaclyn Hill highlighter and blush palette, just a circle pop with a fan brush and just lightly dust it over top. I'm gonna stay in this palette and use this middle color right here called Amaretta and lightly dust that on the cheek. I'm using this NYX lip pencil in the color Dark Orchid. And I'm just gonna line. Over top, I'm gonna take this MAC lipstick in the color Heroin and go over that. I'm 
To finish and set the face, I'm using the MAC Fix Plus. I'm just gonna spray that. So guys, this is the final look. A nice, beautiful purple cut crease with a bold lip. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I'll make sure to link all of the products that I used in the description box. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Make sure that you share with all of your family and friends and loved ones. And make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also follow me on Instagram at Her Fancy Face. You can also like my Facebook page at Fancy Face Makeup Artistry. And I will see you guys in my next tutorial. Bye. Thank you.